Okay. So basically, in SAP, uh, like uh, S4 HANA, uh, like so far we have discussed about SAP S4 HANA, like uh, introduction, SAP S4 HANA introduction or SAP S4 HANA overview. So which includes like SAP S4 HANA, uh, either uh, benefits or SAP S4 HANA, history or SAP S4 HANA, deployment options or SAP S4 HANA, like uh, high level overview of theory. All, all SAP S4 HANA basics uh, we have discussed uh, so far and now we are in process of now we are in process of like discussing SAP business partner so when I say the business partner who is the business partner so the business partner is a member or a business partner can be a, can be an entity or business partner can be an organization as well so the uh, whoever it is whoever it is participates or whoever it is involves in our day-to-day -day business so he can be a customer he can be a vendor it can be a bank it can be a data provider it can be a financial institution whoever it is so whoever it is or whatever it is an organizational unit or any entity or a financial institution so whoever it is participates in our day-to-day -day business, we consider all those members. Are you sharing anything? No, as of now, no. I'm at to share, okay? Okay. So whoever participates in our in our day-to-day -day business, whichever the entity is participating in our day-to-day -day business, or whatever the organization participates in our day-to-day -day business we consider, we treat as a business partner in SAP S4 HANA. So business partner can be a person, business partner can be an entity, or business partner can be an organization. So whoever involves in the business, we treat or we consider as a business partner in SAP S4 HANA. So now, like, uh, how can we differentiate? So if my, my question is, if the, if the same member, like you know that in SAP S4 HANA, as you know that in SAP S4 HANA, we treat or we consider a customer is a business partner, we consider a vendor is a business partner, or we consider an organization is a business partner, or we consider an entity is a business partner. So my question would be, if we consider, if we treat, if we treat, everyone as a business partner if we treat everyone as a business partner how can we differentiate how can we differentiate one business partner to other business partner krishna how can we differentiate from one business partner to other business partner <clears throat> uh, there, there are way, different ways to identify the business partner like a customer vendor as you mentioned or also you can identify the business partners through categories like a person organization or, or, or a group that's what my question how can we differentiate from one business partner to other business partner business I mean, partner role that is what i may uh, expect that's role okay yeah role yeah so i mean if uh, if if you are a business partner if you are playing the role of customer and you are also playing the role of vendor if you are playing the role as vendor or if you are playing the role as customer okay how can we differentiate we can differentiate from one business partner to other business partner by looking at the role so that way by looking at by looking at the role if you go to the business partner and if you look at the role what is available for the business partner then you can understand okay this business partner is a customer if the customer role is assigned to the business partner then you can think that we can consider that we can assume that he is a customer business partner if the business partner is assigning the role as vendor then you can think that the business partner is a vendor role so like that like that the based on the role which is available in the business partner record what we do we can we can differentiate or you can identify 
whether a business partner is a customer or the business partner is a vendor and one more important thing what you have to consider in the business partner side is okay in sap s4 hana in sap s4 hana as you know that business partner is a mandatory right so we cannot use the customer or we cannot use the vendor we cannot use the customer or we cannot use the vendor so what we can use for all the customers or for all the vendors for all the forwarding agent for all the banks whatever it is what we need to do we need to use only one single master record or one record called business partner record so now the point is in terms of number ranges in terms of number ranges sap has suggested sap always suggests you know you can use sap suggest you can use same number you can use so the same number you can use the same number if the business partner is playing the role as a vendor if the business partner playing the role as a customer so that means if if i am if i am playing if i am playing the role as a vendor if i am also playing if i am also playing the role as a customer you know what what you can do you can give the same number you can give the same number to the business partner vendor or you can give the same number you can give the same number to the customer business partner as well okay so basically if you want you can use one single number for the business partner who plays multiple role if he is playing the bank role if he is playing the customer role or if he is playing the vendor role you can give the one 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 number uh, uh, chris i got a quick question over here say in my existing erp i have customer as 1 2 3 4 vendor as a b c d when we come to the business partner i think it makes more sense to keep the vendor as a b c d and the customer as 1 2 3 4 4 rather than mixing them as 1 2 3 4 or a b c d because the the end users will be confused can we keep the customer as 1 2 3 4 and vendor yes, as yes. a b c i'm 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 coming there i am coming there okay wonderful SAP, thank you sure uh, sap is as given an option if you want you can have different numbers for the customer and the different number for the vendor but still there is no one record i mean you will be having one business part record you will be having one business part record but okay. when you select the customer role it shows the different number when you select the vendor role it shows the different number when if you if you are intended to if you are intended to have two different separate numbers for the customer and the business part the customer and the business part the vendor it is possible you can have different numbers or if you want to have the same number if you want to have the same number for both customer business partner vendor business partner that also possible but in order to do that we need to do some settings i will discuss i will discuss those settings later point okay sure. so now sure. we need to understand that sap provided an option okay to keep the same number record the same number for both customer and vendor or you can have different numbers for the customer and the different numbers for the customer vendor or the like business partner vendor or the business partner customer as well but whatever the way you want whatever the way you need according to that according to that we need to do the settings in the system we need to do settings in the system okay so now we are going to start the configuration now we are going to start the configuration settings the configuration settings required a business partner concept or the business partner approach in sap s4 hana so now we will discuss the configuration settings or the configuration configurations available business partner business partner approach or the business partner concept in sap s4 hana are you able to see the screen No, 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 no,
not at crest. So, Where are we going to get the server access, uh, Krish? Uh, actually, I received it on day before yesterday, but unfortunately, like you know, uh, when I tried to access that, it was not you know like uh, in the validity period. It looks they they created the wrong one, and I already requested them one more time. I'm waiting for them. Okay, uh, once okay. It, like probably okay, I can I can get it today itself. Okay. Maybe during the class I can get, or after the class I can get. But definitely we'll get it by today, okay? And uh, okay. I just shared, you know, like uh, the, all the previous uh, classes documentation uh, to all of you. Please, please check and let me know if anyone has uh, not received the PPTs, okay? Yep, got the PPTs. Krish, uh, just wanted to make sure it's like um, three three PPTs on that uh, email that you sent. Yes, three PPTs like they are in you know, MS uh, uh, PowerPoint show mode. Okay, uh, I mean like uh, I mean you like you may not able to edit. Okay, uh, but you can you can like what you can see you can you can uh, view that. Okay, I mean you can download you can download you know. Uh, you were not able to like you know uh, i'm not taking select maybe edit or you may not copy the data okay but okay uh, like, just you know you cannot copy the data but uh, you, you can download you can review wherever you want you can download that if anyone is able not able to download please let me know okay okay Oh, hi, Vinkat. Hello? Yeah, Vinkat. Uh, that uh, the last class business partner concept, uh, that uh, video I think you have not sent yet. Okay, okay, oh, okay. I will send it. I will, I will, I will check it and share it. Okay, I will check and share it. Okay, okay, okay. sure, thanks. Uh, Vinkat, can you add me to that list of uh, groups? Uh, one minute, I thought you were this account, but let me add it right away, okay? And uh, I just added, you know, Raj Ganesh. Yes, Vikanth, you are not there, but I'm going to Thalapalli, right? And... Uh, 
Vinayak, you are there, right? No? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sahu, do you want me to add? Sahu. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Add. <laughs> Okay. Okay, from now onwards, you all will get to know like even Srikanth and Sahu will also get the documents, Sachikanth, okay? Yeah, thanks, Sankat. No problem. Okay. So what is the T code like uh, Raz? What is the T code? Like maybe it's as you know that business partner uh, a basic business partner concept is not something new in SAP as for HANA. Like, I hope you might have come across somewhere else, you know, in our world project where at very high level or whatever the way it is. What is the T code for the business BP. partner, Ross? BP. Very good. It is BP. The short form of business partner, the short form of BP, the short form of business partner is nothing but the business partner T code. So if I, so this is the like another you know, the business partner uh, T code to create or to display or you know change the business partner data. But to, in the today's class, we are not going to do anything business partner creation or business partner change or business partner display or whatever it is so. What we are going to do, we are going to discuss the configurations related to the configurations associated with the business partner concept. Hence, I am getting into SPRO. Okay. Okay. So before, like, oh, when you think about the business partner, is the business partner specific to a CRM? Are the business partner specific to SRM? Are the business partner specific to EWM? Are the business partner specific to GTS? What do you think? All of them. Yes. That means, what does it mean? The business partner concept is being used in multiple areas. Am I correct? Yep. For enterprise. Like, like for enterprise, you can say it is being used uh, cross-functionally. Am I correct? Cross-functionally. Correct. It is not yep. the business partner concept the business partner concept is not specific to a single module or the single area or the single single function. It is it is being used in multiple areas like cross-functionally or you can say cross-application wise it, it has used. So that is the reason. That is the reason. Where can you find the business partner configurations due to the since uh, in cross application components very good because that's my intention like i just want to make sure i just want to make sure that you understand why the business partner concept configurations are available under the cross application components i repeat my statement the configurations the configurations related to the business partner the configurations related to the business partner are available under cross application components the configurations related to the business partner are available under cross application components okay why it is why the business partner configurations are available under cross applications why because the business partner co concept or the business partner approach is being used in multiple areas or cross functionally so that's the reason you can see the configurations of business partner under cross application components you can go to the in order to do the configurations of business partner we need to get into the sap business partner and then business partner and then business partner and then basic settings so under the basic settings you know there are many things, but uh, the main, the major configurations are specific to business partner concept are configuration of the business partner roles, number ranges and the groupings, business partner types, and uh, field groupings. So these are the four 
the main configurations what we need to understand as part of the business partner concept so let us start about let us discuss about business partner roles okay so define business partner roles so what is the role business partner role a business partner role is nothing but or the business partner role specifies the business partner role specifies what role or what function what role or what function that particular business partner is playing the business partner role tells us the business partner role let let us know the business partner role let us know or the business partner role explains our business partner role tells us what function a particular business partner is playing whether the business partner whether, whether the particular business partner is playing the role as a customer whether the business partner is playing the role as a vendor whether the business partner is playing the role as employee whether the business partner is playing the role as bank whether the business partner, partner role is playing the organization whether the business partner role is playing as a you can say a bank or the business partner role is playing as a financial institution or data provider whatever it is so based on the business partner role you can you can understand what what function is playing what role is playing in the business so that is what the business partner role okay so for your information whatever the roles like sap based on sap r and d based on sap r and d whatever the roles are required for your day to day business whatever the roles are required for your day to day business process all those roles all those roles have been provided by the sap s4 hana like all you don't need to create any in general you don't need to create any new role but still but still if you want to create but still if you want to create a new role what you can do you can go to the new entries okay the best way is you know you can copy yes copy yeah yeah you can change okay you can say glu glcu 0 0 i hope it was there but let me check it okay so you can create let me it okay so you can create the business partner role like this but for your information the role category the role category cannot be changed i mean uh even though the business partner name the business partner role name the business partner role name says x y z or whatever it is internally internally what it controls the internal control the business partner role internally controlled by the role category internally controlled by the role category so that way most of the times your business partner role category and the business partner role would be same unless and until unless and until your business your business your client wanted to use different naming convention different naming convention for the business partner that means even though even though you select different business partner role like you change the business partner role okay but uh, the role category cannot be changed the role category or all of the standards whatever the role categories all role categories are provided by sap itself you can see there are 230 there are 233 okay business partner role categories provided by sap in the system so you can still use you know though you change the business partner role you can you can you need to specify you need to specify 
under under what business partner role category he belongs to let, let let us discuss that also let me go back so these are the role categories like the 233 role categories available in the system okay if you want to create any role category you can do that if you want to create any new role category you can do that okay but generally we don't need sap always consider everything okay sap always consider everything you can say that the possible business partner category is like you know who are all who are using this role category who are all can be applied krish uh, what is the differentiation type means so basically it tells you like uh, what kind of what kind of uh, under what circumstances you wanted to use like you know this business partner whether whether uh, uh, any particular area you want to use it for you know sales and distribution to maintain the sales and distribution data to maintain the purchase order data or what kind of uh, area what are the different uh, areas or what are the different uh, data supply what are the different data are applicable for this role role category okay okay and uh, let me see it looks we have already on the same key so and then when you go to the role if you want to create a new role okay so you can as i told you you can copy okay and you can say yl uh, cu00 i'm not sure that is there or not it's there yl cu 99 so now you can change the role as well okay role category as well what is the role category created why i will see you something did i put y or z i think it is in y so why this one this one yes sir okay so like this you can specify the role that that, that way like you know you can you can create your own role category you can create your business part role as well okay but in general you don't need in general you don't need but if you change if you create if you want you can create a business part role and also you can you can use an existing role category or you can use like you know a new role category as well okay so that's what we need to do so this is the way like you know how okay we can we can uh, create the business partner okay the business partner roles in sap as for hana and the business partner role categories in sap as for hana so and then okay. i i have a quick question chris in the previous screen you have the bp view what is that uh where is role can i go yeah okay okay i go, go back and see yep uh, role categories are uh, roles roles you pick any role yeah yeah go in there what is the bp view okay you you need to tell here so okay the based on the role what you select okay mm -hmm. it can control you will be telling the system whether this business partner i mean like maybe you can change the name whatever the way you want right generally when you are creating the new business partner you can put any name or you can put any category right uh -huh. yeah. but but you know, internally we need to tell whether this business partner is a fa customer whether this business partner is a sd customer whether this business partner is a 
uh, uh, vendor, vendor, customer, whatever it is, right? We need to okay. Make, okay. Somewhere, somewhere we need to specify, right? Because the role, the role you can specify your own. Okay, the the category you can specify your own. If everything specified your own naming convention, but for the guy who is looking from the outside, for the consultant or for someone who is coming outside, how how can he know that what kind of business partner, uh, what kind of business partner uh, he, he, he he belongs to, what kind of uh, uh, function he is playing? I don't know, right? If you if you give your own naming convention, okay. So that's why if you assign this BP view, that tells you whether that business partner is employee, whether that business partner is like a agent or account holder or a, like FI customer or FI vendor or whoever it is, or bank recipient. So that actually that that tells you that 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 tells you what he is, what what kind of importance he is having in the business. Got it? Okay, that means that BP view is pretty much unchangeable. Ah, that cannot be changed. That that is like you know, all that is for fixed. Okay. So this this is the only one which is fixed. Everything can be changed, but uh, it cannot be changed. This is standard which is given by SAP. If you want new, okay. if you want any new view, like that has to come from the SAP itself. You cannot create. Okay. It. Okay. So everybody clear? The it's very uh, good question, uh, Krishna. Thank thank you for raising that point. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. Chris. Everybody clear with that? Yes. Okay. No, when, so sorry, uh, can can you repeat the because this is a it, it, it was put as an interface control, right? So you mean to say that uh, when I have a uh, external interface that is calling to this application, then at that time no 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 not 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 like that. Okay. So uh, here, you know, like uh, when you look at business partner role, Satya, and when you look at the business partner role category, what did you, what did we understand? It seems that whatever the name you want, you can give that name to those two categories and the roles. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. So if we if we give our own naming conventions and if you like, you know, assign our the own way. How do we know that what is the what is the correct correct function it is playing? If I use the standard, I know that okay, it is a FI customer, it is a FI vendor, or it is SRE, like uh, FI uh, like you know maybe SRE or you know or bank or whatever. It is, I know that by if it, if I use the standard. But if I use the different business part rules, naming naming conventions at the different uh, different business part role categories. That uh, which can control, like I need to know that somewhere it has to be controlled. It has to tell the system internally what what he is, who he is. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. So that is controlled by the business part view. So uh, the PP role, we can change the title and the description. Yes, okay. the PP role category you can change the title and description. When you category. Uh, category we cannot change the description, right? No, you can change, right? That's what, if you go here. You see, you can change the title, you can change the role category, and you can change the description as well. You see? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that is the reason, even if you change everything here in your own way, somewhere internally, some control should be there. Who is that? What kind of importance is having in the business. We need, we need to have that, right? Mm -hmm. So that is controlled by the business part view. That the view tell us who is he, what kind of function is playing, what what he is in the in the in the business part of perspective. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like the like screen view, which type of uh, partner role is uh, um, uh, having the screen view. Which is the standard was uh, given by SAP. It's close to that. Maybe uh, you are trying to understand your own way, but you are correct. That way, correct. Okay. So, and then, like, uh, after business partner roles and the categories, the next important thing is, like, the number ranges and the groupings. So, here, the number ranges 
I don't need to explain anything because uh, you all are having you all are having SAP like SAP background. You know that what is the number ranges. So basically, uh, number ranges will help you will help you number ranges will help us to assign specific numbers to assign the specific numbers to the business partners to assign specific numbers to the documents whatever it is we define the number ranges in sap okay but before I mean, after the number ranges there is something what we need to understand that is grouping so there is something called grouping in sap as per well, huh? that we will discuss okay if i click on the grouping before i explain the grouping i want to go to bp like you know bp creation So if I go to slash NBP, okay, and I try to create, just please observe it, okay, you have to observe it so that it will be easy for you to understand. When I click on create business partner as a person or create the business partner as an organization, so what is the first thing it is asking us? Because the role it already filled it in there, it's grouping is there. No, 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 no. What the Krishna, can you re read the message, please? Uh, bottom, choose the role in which you want to create the business partner. What does it mean? Whenever you start creating the business partner, the system is asking you to specify the role, right? That means yep. the first thing what we need to specify while creating the business partner, we need to tell the system. Using the what role we are giving, we are we are going to create the business partner, okay? And I'll, I'll select the role, but you know, let me just one minute, okay? Uh, is that options? Options. Visualization two or one? Show one. Show one. Skip. Yep. So, okay, sort by case, yeah, that makes life easier. So, like, you, you can, you need to select the role. So, like, let me select, you know, the role FLCU00, FLCU00, the FI customer. And uh, please observe it. After selecting the business partner role, just one minute, okay? So is it a bill to party and payer rolled into one as a FI customer? Mm, can you repeat? Is bill to party and payer both are rolled into this FI customer role? Uh, not like that. Maybe uh, you can select, you know, the at very high level, very high level as a customer, but uh, from SD side. You can configure from SD. I will tell you. I will show you from SD side. We can configure what partner functions are applicable for the for the customer. Okay, like okay. Uh, basically, uh, we'll we'll discuss. We'll discuss. Just to you know, uh, please wait for some time. Okay. No, but based on the role, uh, it will not specify what functions are uh, applicable. Yes. Provided. By default. Provided. You know what happens, uh, Srikant? We map. We map. SAP business partners, we map SAP business partner with our our standard account groups. Okay? Okay. okay. We, yes, we, yes. We need to do the mapping of the business partner role with account group. And the account group is already configured with whatever the fun, partner functions are required in the business. That way automatically when you create any business partner using the role which is assigned with uh, linked with the account group according to the partner functions available for that account group will be available for the business partner who is creating with this role you got got it i will yes we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk about that okay so while creating the business partner the first thing what we have to select is the business partner role and the second thing is you need to select the grouping you need to select the grouping so what it controls, what the group controls. So basically, basically the grouping, 
basically the business part or grouping the business part or grouping controls whether whether this business part or is required internal number range assignment or external number range assignment so what is control basically in sap ecc or erp the uh, the number the number uh, internal or number external are controlled by the account group am i correct internal yes, yes. Inter external account by account group but in sap as per now since we don't directly use since we don't directly use the account group while creating the business partner what sap is suggesting sap is suggesting define the grouping define the grouping one for the internal or one for external and then use that grouping while creating the business partner so if you want to create the business partner using the internal number assignment if you want to create the business partner record using the internal number internal number assignment then you need to select the internal number assignment grouping if you want to assign external number to the business partner record then you need to create you need to assign the you need to select the you need to select external number grouping to the while creating the business partner so that is the importance of grouping basically sap business partner grouping specifies whether it requires the internal number range or external number range if it is internal what is the number range if it is external what is the number range so these are the two things controlled by the grouping in sap s4 hana now if i go back to the configurations you will be easily understanding okay so we need to define the grouping that is define groupings okay basically the 0001 is the internal number assignment and 0002 is for external okay and uh, you need to specify there are two things you need to assign the number range interval if you specify internal number range if you if you if you okay while you are creating while you are creating the internal internal number grouping okay you need to specify the number range interval also right if you are creating grouping if you are creating the grouping you need to specify what is the number range interval what is the number is a applicable for that grouping we need to do we need to specify or not yep we need to so that is what we do that so while creating the grouping so basically the 00 like if i want to like just create copy okay Z nine 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 number assignment, and then whatever the number I want for that internal number range, like you know that we already defined the internal number ranges in the system, right? So whatever the number you want for that uh, grouping, you can assign that number interval, and also you need to specify whether it is like you know, since you selected the internal, automatically this is disabled, and you can select an internal standard grouping, okay, like this. and if you want to create a external grouping if you want to create the external grouping you can take the standard one copy okay so like this you can define external number grouping or internal number grouping and then when you create when you create the business partner when you create the business partner record okay so create business partner you can select whatever the rule it is and then you can select internal or external whatever it is you can select internal or external if you select internal what happens whatever the next available number to the, whatever the next available number for the given grouping that number will be assigned while you save the 
business point record. If you select external, what do you need to do? If you select external, you need to specify the number. You need to specify the number. So external number is right. So when you select that, the system automatically ask you, okay, specify the so when you select the grouping, the system automatically ask you specify the business partner name. Why? Selecting external grouping means what does it mean? Selecting external grouping means you are supposed to specify the number, whatever the number you want. That's that's why you selected the external grouping, right? If you want system should be assigned, system need to be assigned, you can simply select the internal. Okay. So this is like you know what uh, we do under the second uh, thing that define groupings and there is something called business partner types as well uh, basically it doesn't make any sense but still you know like if you have any if you want to uh, if you want to specify the business partner type to your business partners i mean while creating the business partner record while creating the business partner record if you want to specify whether this business partner is a manager whether this business partner is like a you know, manager type whether this business partner is like you know some kind of a service customer, some kind of supplier, you know, like if you want to differentiate for your reporting purpose or you know, for some other reason, you can you can define that partner type here. You can whatever the partner type you can define here, and this this is available, and this is available while creating the business partner record. If I go here, okay, one minute. Huh? So if I go to identification tab, no, not this one, control, okay. So you can specify for each business partner, what, what is the business partner type, whether this business partner is like, you know, stakeholder, or the business partner is agent or no, the type, it's not actual, it is not, it, it will not control anything special, but you can just specify what kind of business partner type it is okay that also you can configure in the car there sap is like you know people sap has given you know some standard type you know one to four and all others you know configured by the people like you know people like our uh, practice purpose okay so and then if i go like you know and then the other thing is uh field control the other thing is field control so in sap uh like uh from the customer and vendor side, how do we control using the account group, right? We control fields using the account group and we still control the same way, but in addition to that, in addition to that, you can also control, in addition to that, you can also control the field control for the business partner. If it is a general business partner, if you want to control the fields, if you want to control the fields for the general business partner, not the business partner as a customer, not the business partner as a vendor. If you want to control the field, if you want to control the fields for the business partner as a general business partner, not for the business partner customer role, not for the business partner vendor role, only for the business partner as general business partner. That means, what is the general business partner role? You can see here. BU 0000, or you know, this one, you see, 0000. So this is the general business partner role. The role for SAP general business partner is 000000 role. If you select this role, okay, so then then how the fields, how the field will control here? How the field control? The field control by the, the you know, here in SAP business partner side. Field control by the business partner role. You can go here. So, role category. Okay. You can copy the existing roles. Okay. Or you, you can, you know, whatever the roles you want to control, you can, you can specify. And also, if you don't integrate, if you don't map anything with account group, then still it is control here. If you it is like this whatever 
whatever is linked whatever is linked with business partner role and uh, account groups then the field control comes from the account group if the business partner of sap business partner role if sap business partner role is connected with account groups then whatever the field control you maintain you 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 you, you control at the account group that can that plays important role if in case if your business partner roles are not connected with account groups then whatever the control you make in the directly business partner area that is that takes into consideration so let us say for example let us say for example business partner flcu01 so it is the business partner role for the customer business partner role for the customer so if if you map if you map this business partner role with the customer account group then whatever the field control you do you maintain at the customer account group that control that field control we takes into consideration while creating the business partner record in the second case if in case you didn't do any mapping as of now you didn't do anything then if you don't do any mapping with the account group of customer or vendor then whatever the field control you do in the business partner role level like okay in the business partner so that takes into consideration that takes into consideration so like this so so you can specify okay like for each one so what field is hide what field is required into what field is optional okay for all for all types of you know that business partner it can be available okay but the control is same the way you do account group level in a similar way you do but uh, the way how it takes into consideration is different okay if your business partner roles are connected with uh, account groups whatever the control you make at the account group level that is playing you no know, main main important thing if it is not connected whatever you do directly in a business partner role level that takes into consideration okay so this is you know how you can uh, this is how uh, you can control like you know fields okay in the sap business partner okay so this is these are all the like you know the basic business partner uh, settings and we'll continue to discuss tomorrow uh, how to connect how to map uh, sap uh, customer account group with sap uh, business partner role and also where can you control whether you want to have the same number whether you want to have the same number for the business partner and the same business partner customer and the business partner vendor or you want to have how to how to get a different number for the business partner customer business partner vendor and the rest of all configurations we will do uh, in in uh, tomorrow class okay uh, one, one question ah uh, sure krishna uh, satya yeah so uh, we have partner roles uh, as well as uh, partner uh, categories uh, similar to like our uh, uh, uh sap uh, ecc and again we have business partner types uh, field groups we we understand that is equal to account groups to have a control on the fields but uh, what uh, the business partner type of purpose uh, is not able to okay business partner type you know it's uh, like this for example um in our, in our uh, ecc you know the material group it is just for reporting purpose right the material group or the customer group mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the customer group is it having any 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 uh, importance other than the like just segregation purpose other than other than the segregation of like, you know, the business partners based on some group wise like wholesalers or dealers or distributors or, you know you see some kind of Uh, or even material groups also like uh, uh, based on the product divisions we differentiate from one to each other right mm -hmm. in the similar mm -hmm. way if you want to have some additional mechanism to differentiate to segregate the business partners you can use the business partner type other than that internally it is not having any control you get me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay that that's how it work i know that it's a little tricky but uh, the best example is the customer group or the material group the customer group what we use in sap uh, 
uh, ECC in the custom master card. It just you know from like it is just what we we define. You can say wholesaler, distributor, dealer, or foreign customers or domestic customers just for differentiation purpose, segregation purpose. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. In the similar way, if you want to differentiate the business partners from one to each other in a different way, like uh, he's a he's a, a stakeholder, he's like a. Uh, employee categories, like something else, something else. Like this, if you want to differentiate, you can use the business partner type. Okay. okay. Hey, Krish, I have a question. Sure. Yeah, um, so if a customer is migrating from ECC to S4 HANA, uh, so what activities are required uh, on RAR side? Do you know SAP RAR? Okay, revenue, like what revenue accounting, report? accounting and reporting, okay. revenue accounting and reporting module. So, what activities that we need to consider before migrating uh, from uh, ECC to S4 HANA? Do you know? Uh, RER side, I'm not specific, but uh, there are like as part of the migration, there are some SAP notes, uh, some uh, pre pre checkup activities. That we will discuss, you know, in the coming two two sessions. Okay, uh, day after tomorrow we will discuss okay. all the the business partner migration and pre checks and all SAP notes and all the conversion process. But uh, okay. I'm quite really not sure, you know, uh, it's with respect to RER module. But I will I will try my level okay. to get some information. But uh, I don't. Okay. Know okay, please. There is anything specific to the RER, but I will check. But I'm not uh, really sure. But I will check. Okay. 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 No problem. Uh, Chris, I got a quick question on the on the on the server here. Do you have any kind of a data like customer vendor, some transactional data, anything of that nature? In our existing uh, demo server? Yeah. Is it IDS or just? Uh, it's IDS. We, have. A... we have. We have. It looks we just got the server access as well. Let me check. This is IDS. Yes. One minute. Okay, okay, that means that there would be some kind of a, a model company where we could create some models and things of that nature. Wonderful. Okay, uh, we just got the server access. Okay. Uh -huh. And, uh, okay. It's unlikely we will be doing anything for the evening tonight. <laughs> okay, let me share this access as well, okay? Maybe if you want, you can disconnect. I will I will share, you know, to all of you, okay? In yeah. Weeks, I will be sharing the access to all, all of you, okay? Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. No problem. Welcome. Okay. So have a nice day. Thank you. And good night. You too. Good night. Bye. And then, yes. Raj, you have... Ah, Raj. And this is recording today. Just miss the best part. Okay. Sure. I will, I will share. Let me convert it. I will share it, uh, Raj, okay? Oh, thank you. No problem.